Adding sustainable and clean products to your beauty routine is easier than you think. Not only are you doing something good for the environment, but doing something great for your skin as well. Here with some top picks is our friend Michelle Park. Welcome, Michelle. Hi, Sarah. It's nice to see you in person. It is so nice to have you here in the studio. And now, listen, we're going to talk about these products, but these go beyond the typical clean qualifications, right? Yeah, I think actually the entire beauty industry has kind of shifted. So now everybody is no sulfates, no phthalates. But right, that's normal now. Right, that's normal, but there's so much more we can actually be doing. Okay, good. Well, let's start first with this soap. Tell me about this soap. So this is Palermo, and what I love about these soaps is, first of all, they're local. They're made in South Williamsburg, Brooklyn. But when she was making the soaps, she realized that there were all these remnants, and she wanted to donate them. And because it was 2020 and COVID was happening, yeah. she had a really hard time finding a you know, a domestic violence shelter or a homeless shelter to actually take them. Mm. So she teamed up with Clear Clean the World, which is a nonprofit, and she now has donated hundreds of pounds of soap remnants to the people who need them. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's also like earth-friendly botanicals and just a great soap to go with in general. Yeah, and, and everything smells really good today too we should tell everybody so especially <laughs> this smells. next this shampoo bar. bar yeah it's a shampoo bar I, I think it's so pretty how it comes in this like lotus flower look it does look how pretty that is but so Viore is founded by Asian Americans and there was this trend a while ago where everyone was washing their hair with rice water mm. but that's actually a tradition that comes from the Yao women in China so they used they went and visited the Yao women in China and used their formulation and these bars of soap actually then the lifespan of their brand, they've saved three million gallons of water. Oh so my you're gosh. saving water. You're not shipping these large bottles that are heavy across the country. Right. You're also I mean there's no plastic involved because when you put the shampoo in here, this is all I mean, and it's so cute. Free. It's an cute, old right? little bamboo thing. And it smells good. And then you know they, it also comes with conditioner and and your I hair feels clean it. after. That's important. Yeah, yes, very important. Okay, so let's talk uh, talk about makeup now. So tell us about the stain stick. Yeah, so I, I thought think it was just the, lipstick, but it's not. Ooh, as I drop them. But one of the most important things I think when we're thinking about being sustainable is like let's have less. Like let's multi-purpose thing. So Noto makes these amazing little stain sticks, and you can use it on your cheek, on your lips. Right now, people are actually doing red eye shadow, oh, so you could that. actually use it there. And everything is made again with earth-friendly ingredients, but also one thing to know about makeup in general is that you want mica that is slave and child labor free, and so she really does a really good deep dive on making sure that's oh my God, true. Just thinking, do I have products that are, yeah. that, uh, I can't I even, I did like I a mean, whole like, beauty my God, I need to do more research. <laughs> Let's talk about these um, palettes right here. They're so beautiful. These are so cute, right? And like, they come in so many different flavors. So hip or flavors, I said flavors. <laughs> Don't eat them. <laughs> Don't eat them, just put them on your face. Uh, but Hip Dot is basically able to make all of their products without petroleum, which is one thing that we're still seeing a lot in the beauty world, uh, without mineral oils, without talc, and also everything's plastic neutral. And you know, plastic is really a big problem right now. Right. So the fact that they can make these palettes without that is really great. And they come in, you know, lots of glitter over here. I love that one. Yeah, first I'm like, I'm gravitating towards this whole earth tone thing over here. <laughs> but obviously they have it all. Um, so last we're gonna talk about these products from Winky Lux. Yeah, Winky Lux makes, ooh, I, as I I have some of their products actually. Thank you. Yeah. I do love their Daisy Serum. It has a lot of like skin loving ingredients, but the brand itself is plastic neutral, which is something that I'm always looking for when I'm shopping for clean beauty. And daisies are one of the most sustainable flowers because they're very fast growing. You know, it's all about the sunshine. And so this is one of their great products that you can use and also feel good about. And I wanted to bring you some of these. Have you ever seen these? Are those the pimple patches? The pimple I mean, patches. I love a pimple patch, and I've been known to go out with them on my face when I'm not on TV, but <laughs> these are so cute because they're little kitty cats. I mean, I'm going to stick one on myself, and yeah. I feel like you just, but I just think these are so cute. I love that. I love the brands that are doing good things, but also you can have fun with because, yes. you know, we should be having fun with our beauty. We should definitely be having fun with our beauty, and we certainly did today, Michelle. Meow. For more info on Meow on these products, head to our website. And make sure to follow Michelle on Instagram at Michelle W. Park.